What's up everybody, it's Nerp here, and this is a ranked match video. I am Decay in this video, um, what am I doing right now? It's kind of weird because you can play like any deck in the current meta. Not any deck, but any faction. Um, I don't want to start with two Necrogans in my starting hand. Languid, Rod Eater, Hunter isn't too bad, but I'm going to draw a new hand. Hopefully I get like a Ripper or Tribesman. Hmm. Okay, not too bad. So, um, yep. Uh, so I need to string a bunch of wins together to get back into like the top three. And now we get the Ripper. But now we're just gonna play the Darkling. Okay, so energy. Hopefully he's not structure energy because decay is not very good against structure energy. And it looks like he is. Eek. Eek 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 eek. I will sacrifice the soul steel in that case. I know soul steel is gonna be good for hired smugglers. But I wanna keep that damage curse for a possible um a machine machine uh divinator. Come on, I haven't played uh, Decay like in the past like three days. I've been only playing like Aggro Growth and Aggro Order. The first time I played Decay, I faced Structure Energy. Darn. But we do have like a perfect Decay curve right now. So that's cool. I guess I'll just start damaging idols. And I hope that uh, the RN Jesus is on my side and that Hellspitter does not nail something. Hmm. At least he didn't have a turn 3 forge. But a turn 4 ether bump is pretty good for him. No! Oh, whatever. Whew. I wonder why he sparked. I mean, it's not a terrible play. Uh, but let me take our lifesteal. Life I think life is pretty good against uh, structure energy because it's really hard for them to get rid of that, like a bounce dispersal. It's pretty good for them to waste a bounce dispersal on the life stealer. Then the Oblivion Seeker. Oh, the Oblivion Seeker is great. Um, I'm going to sacrifice the Life Stealer. Yeah, early game, we want that card draw. Okay, um, it looks like I'm probably going to have to take the hit on that Ether Pump. There's no way I'm going to be able to destroy it. Oh, sorry about that sound. Okay, so yeah, I guess... That was what the spark was for last turn. He keeps ramping up. Maybe it's like a sudden eruption. I'll get the witch doctor out and connect them all. And I will. Well, I'm only gonna hit idols. I'm only gonna hit idols. At least he's not really. Up. I just said that and I used him to attack the structure. That was a mistake. I should have hit the idol. Every little bit of idol damage counts. Wish I was playing Yule Decay right now. You know, get that uh, extra idle damage. Okay, goes with the VD. And now, don't hit anything, please. Aw, oh, come on! That's really annoying. Very, very, very annoying. Okay. Let's get the other Oblivion Seeker out. He's really not putting that many structures on the board yet, so this is my chance to do a bunch of auto damage, but I don't have big attacking creatures. I almost wish I had that life stealer now on the board. It's ramping up still. He doesn't have many scrolls, but he's ramping up without machine chance so far. And that's gonna be a pain in the neck. I don't wonder. Okay, uh, Ripper, I'll have to sacrifice. Uh, now what do I want to do? I think I'm going to go with the Life Stealer. I'm going to actually damage the Mortar. Not yet, actually. I don't even know what I'm going to do. No, I'm just going to damage the Idol. Okay, let's play the life stealer.
Hmm. I really would like some watchers to draw. Sorry about that. Come on, Mr. Woozle. Boom. Let's see. I could Necro get in. Ah, I should have played the Oblivion Seeker. So I'm gonna Necro get in now. I'm gonna go to this stuff. So that's a misplay, but I got those things out of the way. Hey look, it's a creature. Awesome. Let's go ahead and play a curse monger and a blight bear. Let's draw more necrogens. No. No. Let's get a damning curse. Do not get a damning curse. Darn. Darn, 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 darn. I'll play a harvester and a curse monger. -er. Okay, that sounds good. So a curse monger -er and a har harvester. Eh. We're not doing too bad. I mean, uh, that ether one's taken out, so it's hard for him to do much. I need to find another Necrogun soon. What sudden eruption maybe? He sacked for resources or play two structures at four cost? Thunder Surge, okay. Okay. And he poisons that whole row. It's kind of strange. And I have a Necro again. Ooh, that's good. Um, I'll go ahead and curse the guy. Uh, it's a tough choice what to curse here. I'm gonna sacrifice resource. I'm gonna play the Bloom Seeker and the Brain Lace. You know, I'm gonna curse you so you die, and then I'm gonna sack the Life Stealer and Brain Lace you, so now you're gonna die anyways from the Brain Lace. And I'll use these dudes to go ahead and destroy the Idol. And then I'm gonna play an Oblivion Seeker right there. Idle down. Yeah, I mean, the clock lottery is going to destroy itself. Obviously, I'll get a bunch of cars from it, but I'd much i rather get that idle down. Heck, we're still in this game. Sudden eruption, thunder surge, okay. He's really sacking for a lot of resources. Oh, that's close. That was close. Um, we can win pretty soon. It's good. 
you're gonna die right anyways yeah so I don't have to do that I don't want to waste any damage let's go ahead and do some cool stuff good that was a good draw it's best to put you guys in the middle of the board so that you can move around Use Necker again. Probably Necker again next turn and hopefully be able to win this thing. I can curse something too so that a uh, husk can destroy something with more than three health. So that's GG. GG. Uh, GG, right? Um, yeah. Yes, yeah, GG. Wow, I did not surprise. I did not expect to win that one. I am um, pretty surprised, actually. He was playing a little uh, interestingly. I think he might be new to the game. He was making some questionable sacrifices. Okay. Awesome. So, oh yeah, he's pretty low. Fourteen sixty-five. Actually, earlier today, I had to face somebody in rank that was rated 400 something. It was like 422 or something. I beat him. Gained one rating. Hooray. <laughs> Thank God I beat him. I would have lost like 100. Um, yeah. So that is that. Uh, thank you all for watching. Please, please, please submit your, uh, your great plays for the Scrolls Top uh, 5 Plays of the Week. Um, that is going to be on August 1st. Just submit it to me. Just uh, watch the video on my channel if you don't know how to submit it. And that is it. So like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you want more content like this. And keep on scrolling, everybody. I will see you all next time.